So this is just going to be a ramble about all the stuff that's going on. I am excited because I have the Heirloom Expo in a few weeks and I am also going to New York in just three or four days. I'm at cat sitting and this cat is 20 and she will not stop howling because she's senile and she has food and she has water and she has a clean cat box. That is not enough. Mimi is very upset and she howls throughout the night anytime I'm here. She follows me from room to room. She really wants attention. She's a sweet girl, but the howling is driving me crazy. Anyway, uh, I'm going to New York. I'm so excited about the Woodstock Fruit Festival trip. And this is like the first vacation that I've taken for myself as an adult. I haven't flown in probably eight or nine years, so I don't even know the new regulations. I know it's gotten crazy. I have to take my shoes off and go in that full body pervert machine. <laughs> and uh, I know about the three ounce liquid rule in the quart sized bag or whatever. And yeah, so I have to deal with that, but it's gonna be so worth it to get to go to New York and I'm gonna stop at the Cinnamon Snail and try their amazing vegan donuts and sandwiches. I cannot wait for that. And yeah, I think I'm gonna do the city bike thing instead of dealing with like taxis and traffic. I think I'd like to try biking in New York. So we'll see if that's feasible once I have all my luggage on my person. And then I'll be going to Santa Rosa and that'll be amazing. And I'm taking friends and my friend is in town touring with his music group and I'm gonna go see them, that's great. And my friend coincidentally really likes them too, so she's gonna come with me. It's just, everything's falling into place in such an amazing way. And then I think I will be going to check out this new amazing RV that I found. And if I get that, it will really change my life because my situation up until now for the past year and a half or so has been a horrible RV from the 80s and it's dilapidated and I never got the dog pee smell out and it's just unreliable and unpleasant and very small. It wasn't really that well designed. It's not that much room and the one that I'm looking at has so much storage and I just, I go crazy in my mind thinking about how I could put a few boxes underneath the unit and then I wouldn't have to like step over them when I go to the back of the RV. Like, it would just be heaven. Like my standard of living has gone down to probably in like the low 20% of what most like average Americans would accept for their living conditions. I'm way down here and I would be taking it like up here. And the, the change is minuscule, but to me it's just so luxurious. And I kind of like that about myself that right now I'm happy even in bad situations. And I think that if I can make that work, once I get better things going on in my life, it'll just, it, I think I'll appreciate it more, is what I'm trying to get at. So that's cool, and I just woke up, so I think my voice is a little funky, it's making me mad, but <clears throat> yeah, I just, I can't wait for the fruit exchange, or <laughs> the fruit festival, I'm so happy, and uh, I'm going to be making uh, my wax bug repellent, because New York in the summertime, man, potentially a lot of mosquitoes. So you melt on a double boiler a bit of beeswax, and then you add in essential oils like citronella, eucalyptus, lavender. Um, you can put things like mint or maybe rosemary, all things that mosquitoes don't like. They also don't like cloves. So I'm going to be mixing all that stuff together, and it ends up smelling really good, almost like a bit fixed vapor rub, but more natural and better. And... Yeah, you just put a few dabs on you and I can offer it to friends when I go out there and that'll be fun. I only brought it up because I'm looking at the big hunk of beeswax on the table. And what else? I'm looking at my markers and my acrylic paints and that's awesome. I painted a Louis C.K. shirt a few days ago and I also painted uh, the journal that I'm going to be taking to the fruit festival with their emblem because I want people to sign it, give me their contact info if they want to keep in touch, I want to let them know about the page, homesteading, and yeah, I think it'll be cool. It'll be like a yearbook, and I'll be able to write down my experiences and what I learned so I don't forget anything, because there are all these talks on nutrition, and it's not just about having fun and like summer camp for adults. You're actually going to be learning 
a lot of stuff and it'll be pretty dense and I want to retain everything I can so I'll be writing. I also have my business cards if you'd like to see those I'll grab them. Homesteading. Whoosh. Oh yeah, doesn't that look nice? So I'm really excited to have those. I'll be giving them away at the expo and whatnot. I can leave them around town at garden centers, vegan cafes, anywhere that people are interested in old world crafts, like knitting groups. I would love to do that. This cat, can you hear the cat? She's insatiable. Mimi, please be quiet. She's also going deaf is the problem because when I come in and she's asleep on the couch, I swear I'm like, hey Mimi, like pretty loud and she doesn't even stir. So she's going deaf. She's an old lady basically. She's like that woman at the nursing home who's in her late 90s and can't get around that easily. And just, mm, poor Mimi. Anyway. Uh, we're having fun. Today is good. I'm going to go see some of my babysitting kids. That's one of the worst things about thinking of leaving this town is I'm going to miss all my kids so much because I spent like five, six years sometimes watching them grow up and then suddenly I'm leaving. And um, oh my god, I'm going to miss Sophia so much because I saw her from probably 9 to 14 and the other day she was crying because she said she was thinking about me leaving. And it makes me cry to think about leaving too because I want to watch her go through high school and I just, I'm so grateful for things like Skype and we can FaceTime each other and talk about her day and what's going on if she wants to. And if she wants to forget about me and move on with her life, I like welcome that. I want her to be as happy as possible all the time. So yeah, moving on is hard. If you've ever moved and you have advice for me, I'd love to hear it as someone who's almost 30 and has never moved, at least out of my like Bay Area comfort zone. Uh, I would love to hear advice and I love hearing from you guys. I love the comments. I love when you leave comments. And if you got through this whole video of me rambling, you are a true time waster. And I like you and I hope that you're having a great week. This cat will not shut STFU. <laughs> Mimi. Yeah, I'll just, I'll talk to you guys later. I'm gonna go make some vegan chicken nuggets from Trader Joe's and what else should I do? I have some laundry to get done. I think I want to tan a little bit before the trip. I need to clean up this kitchen. Hi Mimi. Do you want to be on camera? Mimi. She's not gonna come over. Uh, yeah, I have a pretty packed day. It's going to be very interesting. Okay, so I will talk to you more. The next time you see me, I might be in New York, and I'll be definitely doing updates from there because you guys want to see the fruit fest, right? I think you do. It's like 400 raw vegan enthusiasts of fruit that verge, merge and verge every year, and it's an insane amazing thing. I'm so excited to experience it. I'm a little bit nervous, but mostly excited. So the next time I see you, maybe I'll be in New York and I'll be dying of heat and mosquitoes and excitement, but that's what I signed up for. So we'll see. Okay, cool.